Hello there, my name is Latrina, and yesterday you spoke with my son Chris, who offered you a free video to show some things that you can do to your online presence to improve your profile, improve your visibility on the internet, and hopefully continue to grow your business. This is the video that we've made custom for you. Um, we make these um, individual videos for every single person we reach out to. There's no copied video. It's all personalized. There's also no selling in the video. We believe that givers gain. So um, every week we try to make a few of these videos to send out to other small businesses, hoping to bring value and service and also to give back to the community. But if you can, please give us some feedback so that we know if these videos are serving a purpose, if they're actually being helpful to those we're sending them out to. Also, if you have questions at the end of the video, don't hesitate to ask. We'll be happy to clarify anything that we cover. So I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. I'm going to go over content backlinks and citations and why these are important for your website. Also go over your company's online presence and make any recommendations for improvement that I might see. So content are the words, the images, and videos that appear on a website. It's um, it's important to have sufficient content because you want to have um, an opportunity to get all of those relevant keywords that describe what you do on the web page. That's important for Google. This is how Google is able to determine what services you offer and make sure that they present your, your business in front of viewers who are looking for your services when they are doing a Google search. Ideally, your homepage should have at least 1,500 words and your back page is at least 500. This will help you to outrank any competition that's out there. Citations are the listings you get in directories like Google or Yelp. It's your business name, your address, and your phone number. And you want to have as many of these throughout the internet as possible and more than your competition for sure. And then backlinks are the placement of your website address onto other websites. So for example, if you have Facebook and you have your website listed there, or you're on Yelp and you have your website listed there, these are considered backlinks and they direct traffic back to your website. But you want to make sure that you have relevant backlinks that are related to your line of work. So you're a painting company. You want to make sure you place your, your website address on things related to painting, home improvement, um, home remodeling, those kinds of things. Google places high emphasis on how many backlinks a company's website has. So the more, the better. The more backlinks you have, the more popular you become. So in Google, when I search, um, I search painters, Baltimore, Maryland, and this is what we get. We usually are confronted with ads. Ads are good, but they don't get in front of everyone because sometimes people have ad blockers on their computers. So the prime real estate, um, and I'm going fast because I'm being mindful and I don't want to keep you too long in this video, but the prime real estate on Google is what we call the map pack. And here are the three businesses in the map pack that Google has perceived to be the top ranking for painters, Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, and the reason they are in the map pack is likely because they have a lot of content. They have their website structured properly and easy for Google to crawl. They have a lot of backlinks and they have a lot of citations. Google then continues to rank businesses on the following pages with um, the most um, high ranking ones appearing first. Ideally, you want to have your business on the first, second, or third page. You don't want to venture too far off there um, because most people will not go that far off of the first few pages to look for a business. They're usually making a decision in the map pack or somewhere on these first few pages, right? If you think about the last time you used Google, you probably were not searching on pages nine and 10, right? So yeah, be sure to, um, if you get in Google, you um, get a Google profile, be sure to um, implement the things that I'm, I'm mentioning for your website so that you can be a high ranking um, invisible business as well. Now, the only thing that I was able to find I did a reverse search for your phone number because we had your phone number based off um, previously when I did a search for painters. Just so you know, we randomly select businesses. We don't have like um, 
elite list or anything. We basically make our own list of who we're reaching out to and keeping track so that we don't reach out multiple times. But we just randomly search a service. So for example, right now we're focusing on painters in the DMV. So we've searched for painters in Baltimore, painters Frederick, painters Gaithersburg. So it just, we can switch it up. Um, but we did come across your name because I believe you were listed in Yelp. And so we decided to make a video for you or offer you a video at least. Um, but I want to show you something that will help you to understand why it's important to um, do the things that we were saying as far as having a website with sufficient content, backlinks and citations. If we look here, this is one of those painters listed in the map pack. And you'll see they have a lot of keywords. Keywords are essential. If you're not sure what the keywords are, keywords are the things that people are naturally typing into Google to find your service. So time, sometimes people will type contractors and the city and state. Sometimes they might type painters, city and state. Um, they use very specific um, words because they're looking for very specific things, right? So here you'll see this business has quite a few different keywords that they're ranking for. They have house painting, Baltimore, Baltimore painting, interior painting, Baltimore. This is the best way to list your keywords because this is how Google lists keywords. Okay. Now what I want to point out is that like Baltimore painting, that keyword alone has 350 searches per month. Just those two words, house painting, Baltimore, 150 people are searching for that a month. Exterior Painters Baltimore, 60 people are searching that every month. So that's why it's important to have a website because without a website, you are missing out on all this volume that you see here that people are actually searching for in need of your services, right? So it would be in your best interest to get a website so that you can be more competitive against your, your the other companies in your area. Um, and over time, you'd have an opportunity to get your business place on the first few pages of Google as well. So I'm going to end this here. I've gone over, um, but let me know what you thought. Please send me an email or reply to a text. If I'm sending this by text, I don't remember which format you requested. I think maybe text. Um, but in any case, please do reply. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if you have questions. We'd be happy to clarify or um um, give you more information about things that you can do to improve your online presence. In the meantime, I wish you much success in your business. Have a lovely rest of your week. Take care. Bye-bye.